word. Welcome to the B-Side Word. We are a group of friends from around the world where we share our thoughts and opinions on interesting articles. I am Devon and I'm here with Emma. Hi. I'm here with Alexander. What's up? I'm here with Maxi. Hello. And I'm here with the bearded wonder, CJ. Hello. <laughs> the Snapchat filter <laughs> guy. <laughs> How is everyone anyway? What good, did you good. do? Well, well, <laughs> what have we done this Was that an classic? audible an audible beard scratch from Alex then? <laughs> <laughs> oh really? I it was very audible <laughs> on this end of the podcast. I don't know if it picked up on the actual mic he's recording on. <laughs> yeah, it, it picked up everywhere because we all gonna hear it. <laughs> <laughs> it was like it was like <laughs> 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 That's the um the universal sound of what should I say? Let me just scratch my beard <laughs> and fill in some uh... <laughs> What can I, I say? <laughs> I did my first day of teaching this week. Yes. As in like Whoa. not not as a not as a prac either, you know. As an official teacher. Full, you know, yeah. Teacher a, An official teacher. Mm. Mm. Mrs. So what, what an experience. What are you giving yourself? Huh? Out, out of 10. Out of 10, miss. Day one teacher. What are you giving yourself? Well, I wouldn't give myself anything, but I'd give you experience. I'd probably say a good nine. Solid nine. You'd give the experience, but you would give yourself. I wouldn't rate myself. No, nah, I'd rate you 10. But, too humble. But um, well, you rating you rating Check your experience you as a points. teacher. The, your no, experience as a teacher, whole, you're going to yeah. rate yourself a nine. No, not as in my how you how you felt the, the experience, experience was. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. So you enjoyed it. What did you it teach? Really Who did you teach? I taught a four to six years, so year four to year six special needs class. So it was very wow. different. I had no experience, and it was awesome. Hmm. It's full on. Yeah. Emma, came, awesome. Emma came home. How old, is, how old are year four to six? Is that like eight to ten? So, or, no, younger. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Between nine. ten Hold to twelve. On. Nine and yeah, nine and twelve. <clears throat> nine and twelve. No, ten. Nine yeah, 12. between nine and twelve. Yeah. yeah. But they were. Um, yeah, you, you don't want the teenagers. No. You don't want the teenagers. Rat bags. No, 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 no. What definitely, age? Definitely what ages not. do you want then? Uh, yeah, five. that and that and younger. Little ones. Five years old, six, something like that. Ideally, really? between the fives to well, the, one, the ones that when they sneeze, wipe on other people's faces. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> They're the ones you want. That was good. Well, anyway, awesome. did anyone else have any amazing week? I had an amazing week. I put it the... What did you do? I bought a house. <gasps> Congratulations. What? Well, I bought an, an apartment, not a house. No, same, Did same. You? same, same. Same, same. Yeah. Maxi, you kept that Congratulations. quiet. Congratulations. Do you feel like, made it. how do you feel? <laughs> like, do you feel like, <laughs> yes? Or are you a bit scared I don't know. or like, what? We just signed a contract <laughs> to yesterday. So it feels like, it doesn't feel that real until I move there. Like, I just yeah. see pictures of it and I'm planning how we're going to like build some stuff in there, like the wardrobe and stuff, the wardrobe system and desk. So I don't really... This I don't know. It's exciting. Wardrobe system. I know, wardrobe right? System. system. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, that's unreal. <laughs> Wait. Well, okay. So, is it f close or far from where you currently live? Uh, close. Like it's still central Oslo-ish. Not as central, but it's mm. like a fifteen-minute walk. Oh. Um, but it's not a fifteen-minute walk away from central. It's like a fifteen-minute walk across central. If that makes sense. Okay. Mm. That's cool. So it's um top. Top floor balcony with a big terrace, uh, like penthouse. On, over He's the, being over humble. He's thing. being humble. Penthouse. What are you uh, saying? Top penthouse. floor balcony yeah. with a top floor. We're He's very throwing happy. money off the um, roof and making it rain on people. <laughs> yeah. Commoners. Yeah. That is exactly our Commoners. first plan. <laughs> Commoners. <laughs> hey, Alexander. Um, well, congratulations, Maxi. That's really, 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 really exciting. So how long um, before you, you move in? Why did in? you uh, call me out to tell Maxi yeah. that? <laughs> I'll, Alexander, I'll come listen to, to this. <laughs> listen to this, Alexander. <laughs> well, we're going to be moving in in about eight weeks, um, Emma. Eight weeks. Did you hear that, Alex? <laughs> yeah, eight weeks, I said. I did. I, uh, I did. I've, well, I've taken notes. <laughs> November. Actually, no. Uh, uh, Alexander, listen. <laughs> Maxi, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, Alex, what have you done this week? I'll send, I'll send CJ, this round CJ, after the podcast. CJ. <laughs> Alexander, what happened in your week? <laughs> no, I... I <laughs> Oh, let me guess. He didn't. He didn't buy a house. 
I was gonna say, like but then I didn't want to move gone, away from Max's story just yet. But then I was gonna then say, Alexander, you had a. Can, do you want to tell that story that happened to you in the park? What? Okay. That we're living. What? What kind of segue is we... that? What happened there? Well. <laughs> She took notes from you, Dev, earlier. How how you changed the, the, the subject? <laughs> Stop! Stop! <laughs> now we go in this direction. <laughs> Can you see now why I couldn't quite just cut shape? <laughs> Talking about housing, Alexander, how's your tent in your park? <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, it's not windy. <laughs> go ahead, tell us. I love this. Okay, are you guys ready for this one? Yeah. So this is. I went for a, I went for a walk, um, so I've been going for walks you- lately. Couple couple times a week, going going for these walks to, around local parks, discovering some new areas, some new lands. So I go to meet my friend, and um, we we go to Clapham Common, one of the one of the parks here in London, and we're walking. And at this one part, so these big parks, I don't know if they're the same over there, but you have like roads that go through the middle of it. So we're coming up to a point where there's a road. There's a ton of people sat in the grass like, around that area. Now we're having, me and my friend, we're having a great conversation walking through this park. And we just notice everyone is staring. Like everyone is staring. Is he- and we just hear this guy. Approximately 50 people. <laughs> Approximately 50 people. Ooh, like you heard this story uh, before, yeah, Emma. Oh, I just know the story. <laughs> <laughs> you have to use context. <laughs> There's there's this guy screaming. Like he stood he stood on the right of us underneath this tree, holding these two plastic bags, just yelling at the top of his voice. And always and look for those of you who've been in London for any amount of time, you'll know that there's there's a lot of people shouting pretty much most of the day all the time. So I'm not really <laughs> paying him any mind. I'm like, just you know, whatever, it's probably a homeless guy shouting. I'm just gonna keep go- we're, we're having a good conversation, we're having a good laugh, we're gonna keep walking. So we both ignore it. But we just notice these people like staring, like because it's so common, because of the way we reacted, that's how people normally react. You normally just kind of ignore what's mm. going on. But they're staring so hard, we're like, all right, so we tune in for like half a second just to hear what this guy is screaming. And we just hear, Because you're black. And so we just go, All right, whatever. And we just keep walk like just ignore it, keep walking. What? And we get to the road. Well, look the end of the day if people are going to scream stuff like that i don't really care like stand and scream all you want whatever so we just keep walking we get to the road but we felt this presence of this person running behind like not running necessarily but like getting closer behind oh shit so sort of we sort of turn around now it's not that guy it's someone else it's it's another guy who's run up to us and he's he's just gone sorry so i just wanted to make sure you're okay (laughs) And, and we were like what and then the penny dropped like in that instance and we went i just said to him i went oh was he talking about us <laughs> and the, <laughs> the guy's look on his face was like well yeah like huh like he clearly had felt so bad and like, everyone was obviously staring because this guy's yelling abuse at the two of us walking through this park yeah um and this guy's like, this is... It's his moment. His whole vibe, his reaction was like, it was like his, yeah, his moment of, I'm going to stand up to racism and say something and yeah, like yeah, yeah, support yeah, yeah. you. And But because we had absolutely no it idea. Just fell on his face, poor guy. <laughs> he was just like, how, like, huh? how do you yeah. not notice someone so yelling I, I was like, you? I said, man, I really, I, I appreciate that. I'm, you know, I really, thank you, thank you. But yeah, we're absolutely fine. We're cool. Um, but it was just such, a, it was such a funny, like, weird experience because we just didn't yeah yeah i imagine those all those people sat there like that's probably a notable part of their day now <laughs> like they've gone this this is so and what these people have to deal with like, <laughs> this guy was just yelling abuse at them and, st- and we're like i felt bad for the guy because he probably built up the courage to boy that guy was screaming racist racist Not that yeah. one. Oh, that, that the, the other guy, guy. Oh, okay. he the built the guy. courage <laughs> to scream racist chants in a public park <laughs> yeah what a man <laughs> yeah i feel sorry for that it it, it's very hard it to make me racist think comments in a park <laughs> <laughs> it takes a lot of it takes a lot of guts the hard do you know what the hardest <laughs> part is cj the hate deep inside 
to let it verbalize in a part. <laughs> but you know what the hardest part is? What? Is yeah? is getting their attention so you can shout racist <laughs> abuse at them. <laughs> Hey, That's the toughest part, apparently. Hey, I'm talking. Oh, and, 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 not, and, 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 not, and, not, and not just that, he was right near his home. Who was near his home? <laughs> the oh. tent. Yeah. Oh. oh, my brother. Oh. Well, so this is this That's is really thing, neighbor. right? With that guy yeah. hold, holding his holding his plastic bags, like, because I assumed at first he was a homeless guy yelling, and then I realized the context. Actually, he was like being very coherent in what he was doing. This is probably a guy who was just on his way home from the local shop, just really? decided to stop and start. Why is the plastic <laughs> bad such, such a big part of this story? I know. What did you, <laughs> like, why would he start randomly screaming racist remarks for no reason? Because uh, I'm less, I'm less, I'm less know, interested like, about the racist like, remarks right now. <laughs> like, like, what goes through a person's mind? To be like, hmm, two black guys, I'm going to abuse them. But like when there's yeah. a lot of people, like there was question. lots of people. Did, did you see him earlier or anything? No, no. Or just the first time you saw him and he's gone, mm, I've been looking for those black guys my whole what? life. To get <laughs> my whole life. <laughs> so this is, this is kind of not black hard guys to find black guys for. in London. It's not hard to find black guys in London. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So this is, this like, is part of what confused like the- me a little bit and why we kind of ignored <laughs> yeah. him. Because he was like, it was for us, it felt like we were walking into him yelling. Like he's doing it when we were walking into that area so he must have spotted us from distance (laughs) he must have honed in you guys are pretty Mm. tall dark you know they just saw your head he saw your head above the the hedges (laughs) (laughs) but like out of all the black people in england yeah why them too no, I don't think like, why not Ali- CJ, you've got to get that out of your head. I think it would have been anyone that was coming that way. Yeah. It was just yeah. random. Yeah, but, but like, we just happened what, to be I'm the black that much about Alex Alex seeing Alexander. You know what? Let's call him in. We actually got his number now, Siege. So uh here's a special <laughs> guest. <laughs> I don't know why Siege. I don't know. Racist man of bags. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to paint any bad picture on any um any like uh, big corporations. But do you know what brand bags he's carrying? <laughs> <Alex? laughs> oh dear! <laughs> oh, we've lost them for a sponsor. They were Nike. <laughs> My, they, they were the generic blues. You know the old generic corner shop blues. blues. What's generic? Yeah. Blues? So you noticed he had generic blue plastic bags, but you didn't notice he was shouting abuse at you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm so yeah. confused why this these bags are such me. a significant part. No, no, no. So the, story. Reason the, bags, the reason I remember the bags is because you know how like homeless people in London, well, I assume everywhere, they carry things with them. Like, so yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, They don't have a home. So, like, so I assumed it was that. But in my head, when I thought, oh, that could have been like his shopping on the way home. Like, home. Picture to me, if it's just someone on their way home in. decided to start shouting racial abuse versus yeah. the homeless man who has nothing better to do. I just can't believe it. <laughs> Just two, you, you choose two random people and just shout racist abuse at them. Mm. Mm-hmm. Well, I say That's hats off weird. to the guy that was very kind yeah. and came to check on you. That was really... And our second caller yeah. today is the guy that came up to you, Alexander. <laughs> Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take a quick break so that Maxi can give us a message. Hello. Right, if you have Instagram, if you have Facebook, if you have YouTube, if you have Twitter, or any other podcasting platform, search for The B-Side Word on any of these platforms and you will find us. And please engage, like, follow, subscribe, do all those things. It will really help us grow. We really appreciate the love and we enjoy getting your feedback. So go do that and I hope you enjoy the rest of the show. Oh, I got a question for you quickly, just because kill time. Okay. Um, this was from a tweet, but chugger, chugger, choo choo. Yeah. The noise chugga, of train chugga, mates. Choo-choo. How many chuggers per choose? Two. Chugger, choo choo. No way. No, no, no. One. Chugga, 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 choo choo. Nah, chugga, chugga. you're making a beat. <laughs> So Emma's chugga, Emma's chugga, on a two. Chugga. What are you on, Dev? Oh, I'm on a four, I think. You on a four? Chugga, 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 chugga. No, damn it! I'm influenced by both of them. I don't know anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I've got highly influenced by Maxi. I don't want to do four. I don't what, want to do two. I think just say it and see what happens. 
Chugga, 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 chugga. Batman. That's Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Zero choo choos per one Batman and three, five chuggers. Is it chugga or chugga, oh, chugga? Chugga, 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 Oh, no. Oh, well, it's no. a solid five from Dev. <laughs> if we look at the numbers. Brilliant. I, love uh, it. I think you win, Dev. You won. Uh, <laughs> That's a good question, though. Was it? Was there a right answer? No, it was It was someone um, had commented it, and they. I think they had put two chuggers, and the person receiving it was like, wait, no, that, that's not enough chuggers. I might... I can't yeah. chew on that amount of chuggers. And someone else commented <laughs> gotcha. saying, someone else said there's only one chugger. And then that got them chugga even chew. more like, annoyed. Chugga so, chew, yeah. chew. so I'm just curious how many chuggers do people chew? How many chuggers do people chew? I do a two. Chugga chew, chugga chew. I'm going to take you through a little list. Mm. And it's about world tourist attractions and reviews okay um so on TripAdvisor, basically and um they've had a look to see which tourist attraction has the most negative reviews i was pretty surprised mm. the- is it most sorry is it most negative reviews proportionally or is it the like total most negative reviews? total so well found to be the most complained about so most complained so about, and then they put it into okay. they put it into how many hours worth of negative reviews that is. So, hours. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> all right, I'll take it. I like it already. <laughs> Let's the do this. The tourist attraction with the most amount of hours worth of negative reviews. Yeah, <laughs> is the Eiffel Tower. No way. Well, have you got I, an example I, of one of the negative reviews? Yes, I do. Good, otherwise this would be a bad article. (laughs) No. So the Eiffel Tower has 402 hours worth of negative reviews. Wow, 402 hours. It still has a 4.5 star rating. However, it's attracted 19,303 negative reviews on TripAdvisor, which is about 24,129 minutes. Okay. But basically some of the... um, And this data, by the way, was collected by U-Switch, which is a UK-based price comparison service. Anyway, some of the reviews are... Who are you now sponsored by? The area is dirty, (laughs) filled with rats, just like the entire city. Mm -hmm. I didn't see any rats in Paris. Like, around... Okay. And the lights go off at 1am. You can't even enjoy or admire this iconic place. It goes off at Mm 1am? Mm-hmm. You, you, there's the a lot tower of, switches off at 1 a.m. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of darkness there between like 7 p.m. Mm. Like, anyways. They said, so just a big <laughs> hunk of steel that acts like a reference for navigation. I can see that's a good navigation that's good. tool. Yeah, that seems good. Um, <laughs> was, that, was that a positive review? Do you know that a positive I review? Or if, um, it's I hate it. Else. It helps me get around the city. <laughs> I say, if that's your review of the Eiffel Tower, it being a big hunk of steel, like, what were you expecting it to be? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A, a dancing hunk of steel? <laughs> so I, I had this water special. and I hated it. It just it just ref- refreshed me. <laughs> just Too commercial. Quenched my like, thirst. W- 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 what did they expect? Hello, merci. I am the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> <laughs> That accent. I would like to show you the. Pa- I would like to show you the Paris. The Paris. <laughs> if you follow me to the pointy part, what do they expect? <laughs> yeah. Um. It's too many tower. street vendors. Blah blah blah. So I was just. I was actually surprised that that came in as the most negative. How ever. about how about when you went um to when you saw the Eiffel Tower for <gasps> the first time, Ems? Were you? Were I you, was impressed. Were you wowed? Yep. First impressions was like wow. Yes, I liked it. Hmm. I'm easily pleased, you, I think. Have you guys I've been to the been. Eiffel Tower? <laughs> not me, no. 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 I love that confession by Emma. I'm easily pleased. I'm easily pleased. <laughs> yeah, I was so going to rip it to Ernest then, but I hold it back. Can I just... Uh... <laughs> what? Why? Hang on a sec. What? 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 <laughs> How did this turn to me? <laughs> Because <laughs> I guess I guess like the Eiffel Tower, there's a lot of expectation about like the romance and yeah. like, oh, being in the middle of Paris behind it. So yeah. people might expect more than a big hunk of steel. Steel. 
Yeah, they want I mean, they, like, do, it, do, it, It's the whole experience. It, isn't it definitely was cramped. Like you had to. It wasn't like a. You had to ram into the like if you were not walking, you have to ram into the lifts. We went in the lift because we had a little. We had a pram and a baby. I can't remember. And, no, no, we didn't. Oh, when I did, when I went with yeah. your mum. Yeah. Um, no, no. She ki- she kidnapped a permanent baby and she took over to go yeah. up on the lift. I went in the pram. When we went, we went to the second layer because the top had closed, it was closed already. It was closed, yeah. But um, it's like what? very squished. There's lots of people. I would say that. But it, I no, no. It. Like when you got to the second level, there was a lot of space to walk around the edge. Yes. It wasn't like it was. But there was a lot of lining up. Like it's not free flowing like it's like okay we're at an attraction we're gonna have do to do you know what the eiffel towers what would uh, why was it made what was the eiffel tower for? yeah that, i'm, no I'm really curious about this isn't it a radio tower or something was it well that's what it looks like it does <laughs> so look like i'm pretty tower. sure it was like, like there was there's one around the corner for me that i call the eiffel tower <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a radio tower. It was the... constructed to commemorate the centennial of the French Revolution and to demonstrate oh, France's not... industrial prowess to the world in 1889. Huh. So they built a big tower that does nothing? Yes. But it's pretty cool. Hmm. Um, it's like that, now, I, I guess for me, my only when it comes to Eiffel Tower, huh. the only thing I, the only reason I would see to go to it is to go up it. Like I wouldn't care about seeing it. I would care about what I can see from it. It's pretty good, if but it's got like yeah, it's pretty mesh crazy. all the way around, though. In saying that, um, but uh, Alexander, be honest, do you, you just want to go back to back to see who's taller, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, if I'm there's honest. been crazy people that have tried to climb it, though, hasn't there? Yeah. Um, so that's got ten times more negative reviews than the Colosseum in Rome. Colosseum came second worst. Mm. Um, I don't understand what people what expect. Was it, was it too stony? Like, I don't get it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but it had four and a half star rating as well, which is good. But do they understand when this, when the Colosseum was built? Do they understand that? Like, I the mean, history look, this, behind it. This this article, when you think about it, it's kind of like a YouTube video where the video with the most views is going to have the most dislikes. Yeah, hundred yeah. yeah. percent. Like that's yeah. all it is. I mean, that's it's true. Just, but do you know what? It's very enough. interested in this article. What? The female name that dished out the most poor or terrible TripAdvisor reviews was... Is it Karen? Please tell me it's Karen. Kim. That made me, oh, that made me so Close. happy if it was Karen. Number two, number two was Karen. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> Karen's always coming second. <laughs> Karen was number two. Yeah. But then, do you know the male name that left the most poor or terrible reviews? What? On TripAdvisor? Ernest. Charles. CJ? It is Paul. I was going to say maybe Paul. Who was second? Were you? Were you? He didn't say second on that one. Damn it. I think it only mentioned the second on the other one because it was Karen. (laughs) Paul was the most. Kim was the most of girls. Karen came in at an unimpressive second. The third worst negative reviews is Big Ben, then the Pyramids of Giza, then New York's Statue of Liberty. Okay, when were these reviews taken? Like, is this like young people just not enjoying history? I mean, it's on TripAdvisor, I think. How, how no, did, the, uh, how did um, the Statue of Liberty get to the United States? What? How, how was it transported? Built? Was it already built or was it built in, in, in America? No, I think they built it in America. Right? Oh, they built it in America? Right. Okay. I think okay. so. I, 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 I was going to say there's a giant... Right, and he swam it with it on his back. <laughs> and it was actually here. assembled Ping. in Paris. I'm tired. It was, oh, assembled, it was assembled, assembled in Paris. In Paris. Yeah, in and eighteen eight between eighty one eighteen eighty one and eighteen eighty four. And then and that then logistical nightmare. in then the construction of the pedestal began in the United States. Right. And uh, then what did they they ship it out they shipped it over? Mm, I'd have to yeah, find that part. They, out. Well, that's the only way they could have done it, right? Yeah. yeah. Eighteen eighty one. Yeah. Um Less complained about places are Holly, the Hollywood sign and the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Um, and my house, my house has got zero complaints so far. So I guess I'm <laughs> we're awesome. And the, the most, and the three least complained about places. So get out and visit them. The Berlin Wall in Germany. Yeah, um, you can't complain about hold that. On, hold I only got one hundred and ninety nine. Isn't the Berlin Wall gone? No, there's no. a no, portion they, up. Some yeah, they left, up. A, they left some standing. Uh, one hundred and ninety nine oh. negative reviews only, which is. Hardly any compared to... Like, anyway, Grand Canyon only has 163 negative reviews and five-star rating and the Great Wall of China That's there's no only service has out 114. There. I tell you why reviews. no one complains about the Great Wall of China. They're tired. 
They're tired. They're, <laughs> now they don't want to get shot. Oh, okay, well, all right, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I feel like I'm less likely to complain about something which isn't manned by people. So, so, so if I went for the Eiffel Tower and then yeah. I, there's a lot yeah. of people there trying to rip me off and yeah, do things, yeah. I'm more likely to complain about it. But if I go to the Grand Canyon and it's yeah. a, it's just nature, I'm not going to be like, nature, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like nature. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, what, what am I complaining about? Or anything like if I go to the Great Wall of China where you just go there and it's a yeah. big old wall. like. Yeah. It's a big old wall. Like no yeah, one's there yeah, yeah. annoying me or anything. Yes. I, I went to see a big old wall and I saw a big old wall. Yeah. I went to the Great Wall of China and then there was some guy at the front trying to sell me key rings and <laughs> all the time. Maybe I'd complain about it. But it's not the Great this Wall of China. True. It's the experience, right? That's so, true. So you know when Maxi said he went to the uh, if he went to the Great Canyon and that and he said, You suck, it would reply to you. You suck. You suck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot more times as well, every time. So you just basically <laughs> shout affirmations, basically. Yeah. So you know, um, the, the, you know the um, the pyramids, because I remember Jer- yeah. Jeremy went to the pyramids, right? And because he's Egyptian and he understands a bit of the language and stuff, he said there's um, the where the people that are born there, right, where they know where to go, and the tourists and how they get sort of they pay the tour guide fees, like, yeah, and crazy. it's obs- like huge amounts of like fees to go watch the uh to go see the pyramids and then he goes oh, i was talking to a guide and he said uh oh, you got relatives here all right this is this is the actual <laughs> this is the actual way to go really? to see the pyramid oh, <laughs> and it's really? like it's like one twentieth of the price of what um the tourists actually pay it's wow. yeah wow. i would actually still like to go and see the pyramids mm. i'm not going now freaking thieves <laughs> Who? Why? What? Bloody Egyptians. What? what do you mean? <laughs> He's talking about the entrance fee. Bloody. <laughs> oh, the entrance fee. <laughs> Bloody Egyptians. Uh, Want to rip us off? I say, yeah, I've, I've had a, uh, I'm pretty one sure of my that's a, uh, when I was a uh, PT. He, uh, he went uh, to the pyramids. By the way, one minute warning. He said that when he was waiting in line, like it's a long wait. But then there's constantly people trying to sell you stuff like nonstop, and no matter what you tell them, they don't go away. Mm. He said like that almost mm. ruined one of them the Jeremy? experience alone. Mm. Mm. One of them. <laughs> yeah, so that's when you rate it badly, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. When it's manned. I think that you know um, the thing with the pyramids that always throws me off is uh, it's no matter how many times I see it, I always forget that it's right next to a city. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Depending on which way you look at it. Yeah. What? Oh. Yeah, I never. So, you never like, if you look at the pyramids angle. from one side, it's yeah. just like the city behind it. Like, it's oh. not in the middle of. Like, in my head, I've always, it's always been in the middle of the desert, in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. just not. <laughs> it's right on the edge of the desert. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, true. Um, no, 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 no. Hmm. Yeah, but have you seen um? Yeah. Watch you. Ever, you watch Carl Pippen back. An, an idiot abroad. Yes. Look at that, Dev. Have you seen an idiot abroad? Good old, good old Carl. Yeah, he's uh he's the best negative reviewer in the world. <laughs> <laughs> he's brilliant. I I'm, gonna, I'm gonna start watching that. I don't know why he's I love so at his like his um misfortune. I don't know why, but I keep laughing at his misfortune. It's so funny. Like, I don't know. He's why. done well because like I don't know if it's an actor, it's just him. But he's done well to keep it. He does the same thing over and over again, and every time it still makes me laugh. Like every yeah. he still does new things, and he has the same character, the same guy, and it's just complaining about things, and it's just like. The thing is, as he becomes more and more travelled, he's not the same person, but somehow he still managed to hold on to that identity. Yeah. Because like the funniest thing is, like he goes and he wants to eat his monster munch, or he wants to like he's just this <laughs> guy from the middle of England that doesn't want to explore. But he's been forced to explore and it just opens up your mind, right? So yeah. he can't be as shocked anymore. Like he can't be as shocked when he sees an insect served to him on a stick. Yeah. <laughs> but he still looks it. He's still like he doesn't he still complains about it. He's less shocked, but he's still like, "Fuck's sake, not this again." <laughs> well, like, I like. I know you. I I like the the young comedian guy that travels with my father. What's his name? Oh, that guy Jack got Whittle? that's a, that guy started grading Jack, on me. Jack. Like, that, like, Jack, Jack Whittle. Yeah. Who's, tra- who's travelling with Whittle. your father? Jack Whittle. Jack Whittle. Like I thought his dad was charming at the beginning, Whitehall. and then at the second, I was yeah. just watching him, and I was like, "This guy's dickhead." Yeah. His mm. dad's a snob. I went off those too quickly, to be honest. Yeah. I did. I, I, I was laughing a lot. I was laughing a lot. Um, I, I don't particularly yeah. like him as a comedian, so I never watched Because <laughs> we used to watch that show he mm. was in where they were students and they lived in the student accommodation. Yeah, he was funny on that. Yeah. And then I found out that's actually him. Yeah. It's not an act. In mm. the, it was like, oh, shit. 
He'd be annoying in real life. Yeah, in the <laughs> program, he went to Stowe School, and then so he was the poshy one. Yeah, and then but he was, was a. Te- it was good. It was and then good. when he was a teacher, he was still acting like a student. I go, "You're an idiot, mate. Get off." Oh yeah, he I'm was pissed off with this guy. Get off the TV. <laughs> <laughs> no more comedy for you. Get off. <laughs> Jack Whitehall. <laughs> we went from piss uh, off, Jack Whitehall. Review. All right, we went Paul. from um, <laughs> World Wonder reviews, <laughs> negative World Wonder reviews, to uh, negative TV reviews. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Anything else you want to call everyone? I want to call everyone <laughs> Paul for now on that gives any negative review, <laughs> particularly if it's aimed at me. Right, Anything Paul. negative towards me, I'm like, all right, Paul, all right, Kim slash Karen, if they're. Uh, what is? And then they can ask me why, and I'll explain that shit to them. <laughs> they, they will know why. <laughs> So today, I f- uh, today actually, I saw this article and it was a conspiracy about dogs, um, and it, it sort of pissed me off. <laughs> it sort of pissed me off, and it sort of intrigued me, and it started like getting me thinking. Um, does anyone know the Stockholm syndrome? Give me a definition of the Stockholm syndrome. Wait, I know this. Well, you fall in love with your captor. It's when you are like um, kidnapped yeah. and you start relating oh, to yeah. your kidnappers. Yeah, you could even so fall like in love them. with or loving them. them. Yeah. So they're saying there's this conspiracy theory that dogs have some sort of Stockholm <gasps> syndrome. Ah. Uh. Which, which made me upset and I thought about our dogs right away and I said, am I just conditioning this guy to feel captured and like you know how they say it takes about two three years before the dog breaks and he becomes calm is he just like all of a sudden just accepted his fate (gasps) and it really broke my heart wait what was this why did you bring this to the podcast i hate you we're not friends anymore I'm, it's, I'm, 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 what a shit! But it's only conspiracy theory. Dog. It's only conspiracy <laughs> theory because um, the the other train of thought was so like, good. yeah, um, when you when the dog, if a dog's at your, um, if for example, if you're got a family dog and you leave, like let's say you leave the house, right, and the dog stays at the family house, and then you only visit it once once a week, and you come, and the dog's so happy to see you, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know. That was That's the other That's probably because it's been lonely for like with nothing. Well, I don't know. I just, I don't, I don't want, I wanted isn't to know the same, what Isn't that the same as it? when you have a human in solitary confinement and then <laughs> they finally come to let, like, come to see them. Like, you'd also yeah. be excited because you're like, oh, yeah. people, interaction. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like Why? this. Now oh, I feel awful. Too, it makes too much sense. <laughs> it, uh, it's making me annoyed. <laughs> I know. Now I'm literally like feel awful well, like i wanted to bring it to the podcast so that you could like fight me like oh. tell me that i'm wrong okay, about right, I've, this got I've got you <laughs> okay I've got tell you. me you're not wrong <laughs> <laughs> that is horrible but, you're an asshole. but <laughs> horrible <laughs> but, but this... and you just ruined everyone's lives uh... if dogs are gonna be in this instance the prisoner yeah if they're gonna be the prisoner they're gonna be a prisoner anyway i'm gonna give them a better prison to live in I'm yes, make them that's as comfortable right. as they're gonna have a good experience. Like I've got the Norway prison, not the American prison. Got you. Oh, that's right. the way. Yeah. yeah. Oh, mm. isn't prison prison? I don't know. So if that only helps, that means but... you should only get rescued rescued dogs there. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, because if they're bred, they're still there. Like they still exist. Yeah, but the only yeah, people prison breed them is with people, people that want to shop. Demand. Buy them. Yeah. No, but it's the same. You know what? I mean, you should get this. It's the same as your logic for eating fish. If it's already is, there, is it, it's like if I if if a breeder's already got a bred dog. Oh, you mean like yeah. if Deb's mum already the fish exists? If he can't sell that dog, does he then breed again when he can't sell that first dog? But if he can't sell that first dog, what does he do to it? I don't Probably know. Probably not as good of a life as In the long run, he's he just keeps breeding dogs. It's like a, it's. I don't think. The logic is flawed if you're saying that buying breeded dogs doesn't encourage breeding dogs. Oh no, no, it I'm not, does. No, I'm not saying it doesn't encourage it, yeah. but I'm just saying mm. if it already exists, it already exists. You can get, you can still give it a better life than it would have otherwise. Mm. I, 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 like, I personally I, don't I think I'm anymore. going to stop oh. dog breeding all by myself. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I, I did not like hearing this. I don't like. This is yeah. like a. Sad. It is. But I actually feel enlightened. 
So okay, what are you, gonna- you know what? Let's let's take a conspiracy and let's run with it to make it nonsense. Isn't that? <laughs> couldn't you argue it's the exact same thing for for humans? A eh? huh? Is couldn't you argue it's the same thing for humans? In terms yeah, of like Emma's kids, kids with their parents, <laughs> like as much as they're your parent, you're still stuck with them. Like you don't have a choice. You oh. can't go. Oh, I prefer Jim's dad. I'm going to go live with them from now on. Like. <laughs> no, but the difference being uh, is that's all you've known since you were born. So, whereas the puppy's been with its oh, mum, so okay. with, its, with its siblings, <laughs> and then we've ripped it away from them or from Johnny. So, I mean? so, if a baby's born into solitary confinement, then it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? No. I'm so confused. But I don't like no, that. Come on, I'm trying, I'm trying to take the logic to the extreme so we can dismiss it, basically. But you know what's this is this isn't even just saying oh it's a conspiracy this this is saying new research has shown that nah it's still conspiracy if it's a conspiracy it's then conspiracy. it's not fact yet and if it's I'm not gonna, fact i like, can live i wouldn't get a dog for those reasons basically just for like that i might have a rest and i wouldn't get a dog if i lived in the city for sure because i couldn't give it any sort of thing but the thing is like dogs have evolved now to be with humans yeah so yeah it's like the i don't know like they of all the animals they're the animals that you can say would be okay with humans and not feel like a prisoner mm. but the way we use dogs today is different to the way we used to use dogs yeah like and then the way you split up a family of dogs when they're born like the idea that you just take a puppy away from its family and say you're now mine and we're your family to me that just seems pretty crazy so yeah. oh, i don't like this <laughs> give yeah. a, we're gonna give the dog back we'll give back to the owner we want a refund you can have your dog back. But they're just you they're the different owner. to because we so forced evolved them, like how we how they've evolved with humans. So like they've actually have evolved with humans. Yeah. And there's lots of animals that co evolved with other animals, like mm. fleas that eat certain blood of yes. certain animals, sort of thing. Like a lot of people co evolved. So we have co evolved with dogs. So there is a space for dogs to be with humans. Yeah. But how, that space has obviously changed as it's gone through where it used to be more protection or that kind Working of stuff dogs. too. So now it's just about so maxi maxi actually brought a good point like the working dogs and stuff so how about like how about the blind dogs and stuff so they're 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 good right like even if we train them to be a certain like that's all right right like you know what i mean like that's a i think what you're saying is you're happy for as long as a dog seems happy and also like what you're comparing like the stockholm syndrome and stuff we're we're sort of projecting how humans emotions work onto dogs right oh, yeah. this is so true. it's saying like uh, do we have the same feelings like does the dog care that it's being captive or is it just a dog is just like i want food i want water and i want to feel yeah. some sort of love and yeah. that's it like do they do they crave freedom in the same way we crave freedom mm. not that we have freedom but we we like the sense we like to feel like we have it well like if, if, I... if dogs have the same feelings as humans and of course like what we're doing is wrong but dogs aren't humans they're something else well, if How I left the uh, if yeah. I left the gate open, one hundred percent, he won't come back. <laughs> he did. Oh, okay. it happened. Oh, then no, then he would come back. But so this gets lost. <laughs> the last line of this, or one of the lines, says, "So just remember, your dog doesn't love you; it's psychologically damaged." <gasps> that was the worst thing. That's actually the worst oh. part of the article. When I read that, I went, "Asshole, <laughs> you ruined my day." Like that was a like, and then I was just, I was just thinking about him all the time. Yeah, this is not nice. Who's this bloody hater? <laughs> bloody Paul. This bloody Paul. <laughs> was, See what you've done, Max. Don't assume Paul. it might have been a Kim. <laughs> I didn't bring this up. No, Blame Paul. Me. Paul. Oh, Paul. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, cool. This is bloody Paul. <laughs> I like it. Oh, it's a Kim. He doesn't look like he's been captured. Nah. <laughs> He's look. He looks like CJ. It's a she. Is he gonna? He does. Is he, look, gonna, he does. Oh, she's my best. She. She does look like CJ. Oh, even with the beard. <laughs> oh, oh. She. She looks like she's about to start talking. Yeah. <laughs> men in black. Yeah. The men in black. Oh dog. yeah. yeah. Frank, it is. <laughs> Whenever I see a pug, I call him Frank. <laughs> so You're not cute. a Paul. You're a Frank. <laughs> I make myself laugh sometimes. Um, okay. In um, Australia, in northern ter- in the Northern Territory, in the Kakadu River, they have now a good seen river. three whales 
that have made a wrong turn or for whatever reason started making their way up this river. Yeah. The river is crocodile infested East Alligator River. Um and Wait, two, it's crocodile infested. It says Let's... Kakadu's crocodile infested East Alligator River. It's so alligator. it's in the area That's of the most Kakadu Australian on the thing ever. East is this Alligator Australia? River. So Where the river's called the East Alligator yeah, River. In um, Northern Territory, Australia. Kakadu off, off alligator infested river. <laughs> that was pretty good. That's not bad. It sounds so Australian. <laughs> Why would you call it Kakadu? That's such an Australian I, I name. I think that's Aboriginal. Aboriginal for a... Oh, cool. Yeah. Kakadu. So it, 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 it legitimately is ca- um, Australian. It's yeah. as Australian as you can get it. Mm. Yeah. Well, nice. the Astra- experts don't understand why the whales have started going up there. They've had to like cut, like cut block off boats from going there because obviously the fishermen wouldn't be expecting to see massive whales or whatever. Yeah. But two of the whales have turned back. There's one still there now, which they're hoping won't go further yeah. because it will just get beached or whatever. But um, interesting. And they said, don't worry about the crocodiles. Like the like, they're no match for a whale. Like they mm. wouldn't even attempt to try and eat the whale or whatever, kill the whale. They'd be They'd be like freaking out. They're like, that's a yeah. big fish. What's it? Like, <laughs> what the fuck? They, like, Where did this guy come fi- from? They finally come back to get us. <laughs> yeah. Apparently the at this time fish. of year, they're usually heading south to Antarctica to feed yeah. during the summer. So yeah, don't know what's going on. But it is unusual, isn't it? Seeing it'd be, it is. It'd be weird yeah. seeing like whales in a river. It would be. They go down to Antarctica to do what? Sorry, to feed for the mate, summer. Feed. Feed during the I'm summer. Good- they got good sushi down there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, it, I heard it's chilled. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I wonder why they. Do you reckon they just go around because it tastes like places like oh, they got great new restaurants down in the Antarctic. <laughs> <laughs> great spot down there. All right, Dave, I'm on my way. <laughs> no, I, I wonder. I wonder if they give reviews. No. <laughs> well, you missed. Uh, you missed last week where we found a Japanese restaurant in a, a small to medium sized uh, oh, African last village. Week's small to medium me size? No, no, no. It, it was tiny to small size. <laughs> okay, are- tiny to small size village in the north northernmost. Uh, uh, co- top left corner of Chad, there was a Kyoto style res- Japanese restaurant. Maxi, Maxi, mm-hmm. have you so seen? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Who, what is that? The humpback whale. <laughs> what? Why is the humpback whale saying this? It's from the, the Finding Nemo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, is that his Davis? <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, okay. Dory, Dory. Yeah, yeah. I he said Dave. All right, Dave. No, remember when I feel really... like um, it's this is a, like if it says East Alligator River, yeah, like it's alligator infested river, and then in the small text it says, but the alligators have no effect on the whale. Yes, yeah. like it's one of those things. Like, why did you say? alligator infested river in the first place if it doesn't well yeah so people makes don't no go there the and try to swim with the whales and get eaten yeah. by the alligators yes Cro- crocodiles we don't have alligators yeah oh. we so do people, so people, it literally no. says there alligator is. infested yeah. river no it says alligator it's river a- east alligator river which is crocodile infested oh yeah but then it says crocs no match for humpback whale yeah crocodile that's a cartoon yeah crocodiles we don't have uh, alligators alligators in America oh okay we, have, we only have crocodiles why is this it called is... East Alligator River? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. That's why I looked at him. I go, why is it East Alligator River? Yeah, that's wild. <laughs> why would America to, named it literally. To jump on your killer whale thing, there was another one that I saw this week related to the old the old killers. Um, was his name Willie? <laughs> unfortunately not, no. Um, this one, it's... So the head, I'm just going to read you the headline and then a couple of the first paragraphs and that's it. And, and they talk about it, but it's... Pod of crazy killer whales is attacking boats with seemingly orchestrated behavior, terrifying sailors and baffling scientists. Um, the 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 best part for me was a lot of people commenting on the fact that they missed out on the opportunity to say it was orchestrated um, oh. headline mess. <laughs> 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 but they did they did try this one. <laughs> they 
They miss out. Anyway, since late July, sailors have reported several encounters with orcas in the Straits of Gibraltar that tipped one boat sideways and spun others in circles, <gasps> leaving them oh, rudderless. Wow. There is some speculation that these attacks seem orchestrated, but scientists don't know for sure yet. And the orcas have they not did made say any orchestrated. statements. <laughs> oh. No, but they've said orca, or like the word orchestrated. They missed the real opportunity oh, and went yeah, with the yeah, other yeah. joke. Like, come on. Anyway. Obviously, killer whales are having themselves a moment at this time in 2020. Like they're just they're doing like, their own we're, thing. Yeah, we're taking <laughs> back we, we, over. Where's humpback whales though? Before, right? These weren't killer whales in Australia. No, they're humpback. Humpback. Whales. These oh, ones are humpbacks. humpbacks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's, it's yeah, killer whales. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, mean. Killer whales aren't even whales. whales. Hump. Check it out. I think my favorite part of that though is the the tweet that I saw this article posted on the the tweet itself was the headline: "Potter crazy killer whales attacking boats." Someone quoted to you and said, humans drive boats all through Wales House and call Wales crazy when they attack. I was like, oh, yeah, no, yeah, that sounds probably more mm. accurate. Makes point. <laughs> Self-defense. When they attack, yeah. I didn't realise that... It's funny that they spin them in circles. The orcas are predators of the humpbacks. Poor humpbacks. What was that, Maxie? They've been what? spinning them in circles. They've been spinning them in circles. The boats. They spin you know, me right round. Because that kill, the killer round, whales, because like I watched a doco. Right, 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 I watched right. a doco about the killer whales and stuff, not, uh, very brief. And they were like, it was, where are the brown, where are brown bears usually at? Alaska? Uh, Canada. Canada. Uh, America. Canada, Canada, America. America. So no, they're, North America. Russia. The humpback whales, they travel towards Canada, I think. And then the killer whales are there at the same time because they always, they know where they are, right? Anyways, they... They captured this um, humpback, the smaller one, and what they do, because it's so massive, they're so hard to eat all at once, they'd bring them to the bottom of the sea and try to trap them underneath the rocks, right? What? While they're doing this, while they're going through this feeding frenzy, right, there are bears hanging out the sides watching, brown bears. They what? come out of hibernation, they just watch from the, from the shoreline, right? And I'm looking at these bears and they're just chilling out watching the show. What they're waiting for... When they put these humpback whales at the bottom, right, some of them don't get secured at the bottom of the ocean or underneath the rock. So it floats to the top and goes to the shoreline. And then the brown bears go, yep, <laughs> here's dinner. And what? they come and eat all the, the, um, the then, humpback so whales. So the brown bears can get into come them. Come on, boo-boo. Boo-boo, to, boo, to boo, I got top. myself a whale. <laughs> boo, boo. How, how do they kill what them in the first place? Accent? I love it. The, the killer whales. <laughs> do they kill them by drowning them? No, they... they, or do they uh, they they pierce through them and they just rip them apart. Oh, what? I yeah, don't like it's, the it's, animal it's, world. Like it's it's crazy. And then like the the thing is like they try to put it underneath and save it for later. That's the one that got me. I was like, they they saving food for later. <laughs> I'm like, what the you know hell? What? This uh, I'm willing to believe you on this one, but I've I've got to let you know, Dev, that when you start with. I watch this documentary after your hands clapping, guy. I do get a little bit suspicious. Why are we yeah. hands clapping? Like, yay, yay, yay. Well, I don't know. It's my, it's just the mannerism. <laughs> the animal world, yeah, with the the way that they kill and they just. <laughs> they, they can they can kill they can kill specifically up to that, that move. fish. These orcas can kill up to fifteen fish with one slap of their tail. Bloody what? hell. Mega slap. <laughs> High five. Unreal. Unreal. Wow. They're the largest, the largest, uh, the largest in the dolphin family. I think the Who? craziest is when you see, I can't remember the, whether the it was orcas whales. or not, but dolphin. when you see them flip seals up. Yeah. yeah. No animals prey on them either. Oh yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. I didn't realize they were part of the dolphin family. Family. Dolphin family, mm. which probably means they're pretty intelligent. Yeah, very intelligent. They run the world, really. We just think we do. Yeah, yeah. this is true. They have no predators. Nobody oh. hunts orcas, or oh, unless you count us as predators. <laughs> Zero predators. Top of the food chain. Top of the water food chain. And that's another week of the podcast, the B-side oh, wow. word podcast, done and dusted. You guys, tired now. you guys informed? Informed. And uninformed. Thank you for listening. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thank you. There was, I feel like today there was less dubious facts than normal, but yeah. there were still a few. 
<laughs> there was. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, there were still a few. <laughs> just, just when you get home, just uh, hug it no, off. Just re- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. All right. See you next week. See you next week. See you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.